Okay, uh, let's look at uh, the topic momentum, momentum and impulse, great trial of momentum and impulse. But today we'll only be focusing on momentum. Uh, the first thing you'll have to do is to try and define what momentum is. Um, momentum is described as uh, the product of an object, the product of an object's mass and its velocity. The product of an object's mass and its velocity. Not just the product of mass and velocity, but the product of an object's mass and its velocity. Meaning that you do not just take any mass or any velocity. You take, you only use the mass of that object and the velocity at which that object is traveling at only. You do not consider other uh, velocities which are not associated with that object if you want to if you want to calculate the momentum for that object you also do not associate masses which are not involved in that object to calculate the momentum for that object so again momentum is defined as the product of an object's mass and its velocity you can also say that um the product multiplying multiplying mass multiplying mass by velocity multi multiplying the mass of an object by its velocity should give you should give you momentum multiplying an object's mass by its velocity should give you momentum now let's look at the mathematical expression for for this momentum okay momentum the mathematical expression for momentum is a small letter p which is equivalent to mass which is mathematically represented by m and a small letter m and velocity which is represented by v now this is this this equation here is the equation that relates momentum mass and velocity and this equation here is this definition but in a mathematical expression now let's look at what actually what kind of quantity what type of quantity is momentum? Um, what type of physical quantity is momentum? Momentum is a vector. Momentum is a vector. And I'm going to explain to you why momentum is a vector. It might be confusing, but it's going to make sense why momentum is a vector. Um, the reason momentum becomes a vector is because of these two products. It's because of this product. It is a product of mass. Let's look at mass. It is a product of mass and what? And velocity. It is a product of mass and velocity. But if we look at mass closely, mass is a scalar physical quantity. And velocity is a vector physical quantity. A scalar physical quantity now might be multiplied with a vector physical quantity um, from grade 10 you know that a scalar physical quantity uh, is a physical quantity that only comprises of magnitude it only has magnitude you know from grade 10 that a scalar physical a scalar physical quantity is any physical quantity that only has magnitude and a vector is a physical quantity that has both magnitude that has both magnitude and that has both magnitude and direction that has both magnitude and direction so now let's look let's look at this we have the we have mass multiplied by velocity 
we have magnitude magnitude for mass we have we have magnitude we have magnitude multiplied by magnitude magnitude that goes with magnitude that goes with direction this will result this this, this thing is this will result this will result with a bigger magnitude it will result with a bigger magnitude this will result with a bigger magnitude that inherits the direction of that vector that inherits the direction of um, that inherits the direction of that other vector and this is how momentum this is how momentum becomes a vector this is how momentum becomes a vector by inheriting the direction of its velocity of that object's velocity that's how it becomes a vector let's now look at a problem we will do the first part of the problem together and the second part you will have to pause the video and attempt to do the problem on your own then you will check the solution so um the question reads a blue whale of mass 150 kilograms a blue whale of mass 150 kilograms is moving east through the water at two meters per second the second part of the question reads a dolphin of mass 150 kilograms is moving west at 12 meters per second is moving west at 12 meters per second they say calculate the momentum of each calculate the momentum of each animal let's go through the momentum of the blue whale together let's go through the momentum of the blue whale together then you will be able to do the the, the 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 dolphins momentum alone um the mass for this blue whale is 150000 it is 150000 kilograms and the velocity is 2 meters per second east it is 2 meters per second east and you can see east is a positive that's why I just left it as it is. You know that it's positive. And we are looking for what? We are looking for we are looking for this momentum. And we do not know what that momentum is. So now let's try and calculate this momentum. Um, the first thing that we have to do is to write down the equation. Momentum is equivalent to mass by velocity. Momentum is equivalent to 150,000 the momentum for the dol for the blue whale not dolphin for the blue whale it's 150,000 kilograms multiplied it is 150,000 kilograms multiplied by it is 150,000 kilograms multiplied by 2 meters per second east per second east but you can see it's positive i kept it positive because it's east and i chose my east as positive then 150000 kilograms by 2 meters per second we will end up with 300000 kilograms meters per second there is no need to write east because we have left this as positive there is no need to write east because now this is positive which clearly indicates that is towards the eastern direction but you can write east you can write east east for assurance you can just write east for assurance let's now look at the second part of the problem you can now pause the video and attempt to do the second part of the problem then you will go through the problem with uh with uh with me when i'm solving it you'll check your own solution along with the solution that i will be writing on this screen along with the question with the so let's now look at the dolphin let's now look at the dolphin uh a 
a dolphin has a mass of what 150, uh, 150 kilograms yes 150 kilograms and uh, a velocity of minus 12 meters per second west the reason it becomes the reason this becomes negative is because I chose west as negative the reason it becomes negative is because I chose west as negative then we are looking for momentum this is what we are looking for this is what we are looking for um, now um, now you have to we have to solve uh, this equation this problem um, we will have momentum is equivalent to mass by velocity and you know that your mass is what it's 150 kilograms your velocity is minus 12 meters per second minus 12 meters per second west this will result in you having um, a momentum of negative 1800 kilograms meters per second you, you can just add the direction west you can still add the direction west just for assurance but we have indicated the direction with our sign here yeah we will look into other sections of this chapter and we will solve more problems in the next lessons